Somebody was surprised, and I think it was the internet, said, LeBron James is almost done. Whoa. 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 This is his 21st year. He's almost mm. 40 years old. He's, he's almost done. Here's LeBron James talking about his future and how it's not that long. Not very long. Um, I'm on the other side, obviously at a hill, so uh, I'm not going to play another 21 years. That's the damn show. But, okay. uh, not very long. Break um, I don't know what, uh, when that door will close as far as my, when I'll retire, but... I don't have much time left. Thanks, Jay. He's icing those uh, tires on the 2003 Escalade, uh, getting the ice off the feet there. But obviously, he doesn't have much time left. Is there any clarification or idea of what it is? Because he wants to play with his kid, right? Is that this year? Is that next year? Do you have any thoughts on all of that? And what are we looking at here for LeBron, you think, going forward? Yeah, Pat, most people I talk to around LeBron James, about LeBron James, one to two more years is definitely the expectation that LeBron James is still going to play another year or two. But it's obvious. I mean, based on his comments, he's at the end of the road. Um, and, and for players of LeBron James' stature, it's, it's hard to come to grips with the reality of retirement. And I spoke to Rich Paul actually today about LeBron James, his future, and this, the, the openness that LeBron James is talking with about retirement and about being at the end of the road. And Rich Paul told me it's, it's like landing a plane. You don't just land right away when you're 45 minutes out. When you're about to descend, there's you know a warning. There's a little bit of an announcement. And I think that's where Rich Paul kind of said this is that. This is it's about mm -hmm. forty five minutes away. It's it's definitely descending. Um, and oftentimes, like Rich Paul told me today, everyone around LeBron James, their whole life has been about him. Whether it's his kids, uh, his two boys who are now grown up, uh, his daughter who's obviously very unique, Zuri. She's just starting her own right. His wife Savannah. She's been with him since high school, and and everything has been around him. Everyone everyone around him has revolved their life around him. And I think it's some level of, of selflessness, understanding that this this time it's going to come up to a close here very soon. I mean, it's it's reality. He's 39 years old, 21st NBA season. Honestly, he could have retired a couple of years ago, three years ago, if, if he really wanted to. There's not really much for him. He's already won a champion. He's won four championships. He's won it. He's he won, man. obviously, the two in Miami. He yeah. won one on his own in Cleveland, another one on, on his own in L.A. He's proven that all-time leading scorer in NBA history. So, not much like tangibly for him to prove, but clearly he still loves the game, still wants to win a ring, win a ring in L.A. Um, but I, I still think people around him, people around the league still believe he's going to play another one or two years. But beyond that, I'm not so sure. Okay, that's big news, I feel like. Mm -hmm. We're getting a little bit of a declaration of this entire thing. It'll be it'll be a sad day. It's like landing yeah. a plane, Pat. Like that's, that's what Rich Paul told me. It's like landing a plane. Yep. He's at about the 45 minutes. Haven't mark. put the landing gear down yet. Where are you flying yet? from? Well, yeah, how long's the not, flight? L.A.? Yeah. Not yet. Like, not not yet. I mean, we don't know how long the flight. The flight's probably been uh, this is across country. This okay, is, six okay, this, so I'm, this, I'm waking up probably five, ten minutes to get ready for landing. Yep. Okay, that's what I got going on. Mm -hmm. They're collecting. I mean, this the is year twenty one. What, what 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 are we comparing that to? Is that like a twelve hour flight? It's like like China to New York City, yeah, probably yeah, Tokyo flight. to L A. Yeah. yeah, it feels like we're going to Japan there. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it feels like we're going to Japan. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's 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 a it's a long flight, and he's he's, he's on that track now, but. I mean, clearly, 45 what minutes, though, so, to Japan, you feel like you're already there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I assume he feels like we're already going down for landing. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I already had my full sleep in the pod right. twice. Yep, had I my watched, meal. Watched The Godfather two times. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Maybe took some <laughs> sort of gummy or four. Ambient. Talk to everybody. I, I really hope you didn't eat what Dan ate, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, you did think he farted. You were trying to do the whole, I want a context thing. He farted all over our show. I, I do need context. I mean, you never know. He might have had beans. You know, you know there's, 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 there's a lot of entry points, you know, to beans. give Dan a way to understand. Sean, you know, so what you're saying? Understanding, you're saying, sympathy. You're saying beans, beans, the magical fruit. Mm -hmm. The more you Could eat, be. the more you toot. Is that what you're saying, Sean? It's, it's, I don't know if it's scientifically proven, but I, I have heard the theory, yes. Well, he was also eating hard-boiled eggs, drinking coffee, and a glass of milk. Yep. Yeah. So, it's so. like, no wonder. That's you to get the, the job done. No wonder, Dan, you're pooping all over everything. Okay, so LeBron doesn't have a landing gear down yet, <clears> but we <throat> certainly got the runway in sight, and we're talking about everybody needs to put the tables up and go ahead and lift your back up, too. He did upright. just have 40 points against Brooklyn, though. Mm -hmm. So, like, on the court, I mean, the level he's playing at, and I think he's shooting 41% from three. Uh, like, it's it's in, it's pretty remarkable. Like, when I first started paying attention to basketball, really following basketball, um, mid-2000s, uh, you know, as we got into 2010 and 11 and 12, I mean, the big knock on LeBron James was his jumper, that he wasn't 
a good shooter. Like the Spurs during the 2007 finals, they gave him so much space that literally the game plan for LeBron James was let him shoot. And now the way he's able to so late in his career change his game um, where he's now literally he's a lethal three point shooter now. Like he is making them. It's a surprise when he misses so late into his career. I don't know if you can compare him to Jason Kidd or what, but he's able the way he's been able to develop his game, mature his game year after year after year. Still has have the athleticism to to go coast to coast, dunk whenever he wants um, in the fast break. He's got a lot left. And so even whenever he does retire, whether it's in a year or two years, he's obviously going to still have some stuff left in the tank. But when it's time, it's time. And I think him speaking about it, he's normalizing it for himself and everyone around him. Yeah, I appreciate that. And, you know, it's going to be sad to see it over. Um, he also assists a lot. Oh, mm-hmm. He's like Wayne Gretzky. Yeah, yeah. Kind you know, of, He's yeah. a lot like Wayne Gretzky. Mm-hmm. Rebound. Yep. Caitlin Clark. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, all Clark. that. Caitlin. Same, same issue. I saw somebody, uh, Rob Carter said, uh, Caitlin Clark needs to go to the NBA, not WNBA. Oh, really? Who said Have you heard about that? that? Have you talked about that at all, Is the man- Caitlin Clark, Indiana Fever. Soon come. I know you're excited. We, we got season tickets. Damn here. right. Is the man in Indy going to be Anthony Richardson, Tyrese Halliburton, and everybody going to check out the Indiana Fever? I think so. Yes. Mm-hmm. I think so. Go ahead, A.J. Hawk. Shams, one more thing on LeBron. Once he does land that plane and he is done playing basketball, is he going to own a team? Like, what's he going to do? Do you have any kind of insight on what his future looks like? Because it feels like he's going to own maybe multiple teams in different leagues. A.J., his goal has always been own an NBA team. At least the last few years, his goal has morphed into own an NBA team and own that team in Las Vegas. He's been open about it. He's talked about it. I think behind the scenes, internally, around him, he's he's continued to game plan around that. We'll see where they where the NBA stands on that process. I, I still think it's a few years out, definitely after the media rights deal uh, over the next year or so. But I, I, I definitely think that's a vision of his. Obviously, with Spring Hill uh, Media, th- that, th- that company – is obviously doing a lot of different projects off the court uh, documentary. They're, they've got this Netflix series, uh, this NBA focused Netflix show that they're doing as well now. So there's a lot that's involved. Um, but I, I think LeBron's, LeBron James is going to be able to do whatever he wants at the end of the day once he retires. But I do think his focus has been that Las Vegas. Season. I think he uh, <clears throat> he was rapping a song the other day. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if you saw Shams. He broke any news. There might be some champagne poppies. Oh. Not necessarily as pumped with where the uh, allegiances were drawn. Mm-hmm. I, saw people, I saw people liking posts and stuff. Oh, like, oh yeah. Uh, K-Dot. <laughs> Look yeah. out. Red Dot. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. LeBron's wow. singing at a wine party yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Video a couple of his favorite yeah. parties. They, they do a party. Like Not the his friends. Yeah, there's like, yeah. No party. Like Been famous. Which parties are we talking about right now? Which parties are we talking, talking about, Sean? What are you no talking parties. about? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just listening to what you guys are talking. You guys. Oh, are play dumb, Sean. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah.